So we have our definitions of instantaneous and average acceleration. And now we know that things fall at a uniform constant acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared near the surface of the Earth. So we're ready to do some kinematics, right? So we're going to do kinematics with the assumption of constant acceleration. Before it was constant velocity, now constant acceleration. And the problem we're going to work around now is that I throw a piece of chalk down at 2 meters per second in frustration, right? And then how fast does the chalk go? So this one looks something like this. I have the chalk here, and the students all bomb the exam. So I'm like, ugh! Like that. Ah! So how fast did the chalk go after a half second? Actually, I think at a half second it had shattered, but let's pretend it, it kept going at a half second. So the way we would do this is derive some kinematics from our definitions. And it's going to be just like before. We're going to assume that if everything is constant, if the acceleration is constant, then the average value equals the instantaneous value. And that's going to let us write an equation very similar to velocity as well. The instantaneous acceleration equals the average acceleration equals the change in velocity over the change in time. So we want to think about this one being equal to that one to get equations that look kind of like what we're used to. So we're going to say A equals the final velocity minus the initial velocity over. And remember, delta t was t final minus t initial. t initial is usually 0. t final, we just call it t. So we can say over t. Right. And turn that around, solve it for the final velocity, and say v final is v initial plus acceleration times time. And that is yet another important uh, kinematics equation. This is how you figure out how fast something is going after it has accelerated for a while. I don't know, maybe this one has a street name that v equals at, if you're being simple. That was just the velocity it got to if you started at 0 without all the vector notation all over it. Right? So you may have seen this one before. Let's solve our problem then. So it's pretty straightforward here. How fast did it get going? So Vf is what we want. And if I threw it down at 2 meters per second before I released it, right when I released it, 2 meters per second was its initial. Right? So that's equal to 2 meters per second plus uh, At. So A, we know, is 9.8. I'll put units, I guess, meters per second squared. I'm making it positive because we're thinking of down as positive. If we thought of down as negative, I would need to put a negative sign here. But let's think of down as positive. Here we go. And uh, t is 0.5. Right? Seconds. So we solve that, and we get a half of 9.8. And we add 2 to it, and it's 4 point whatever it is, 6.9 meters per second down. And it's a vector because I put down, we'll say. So pretty straightforward to plug in, but always remember this one. But always remember, more importantly, that it is only for constant acceleration.